Yes, the wait has been long and arduous, but I in fact do return with the first Yaoi review. I decided I'd review something that most of you probably have seen, so in the off chance that you haven't, you should definitely go check it out because it is fucking awesome. So, these things are going to be broken up into four parts. Story, art slash animation, sound, and enjoyability. Pretty simple, right? I, I might tweak this as we go along, we'll see. So, Junjo Romantica. I'm pretty sure that everyone who likes who likes BL Yaoi has seen this. And again, if you haven't, you need to go see it because it's awesome. So, category number one, the story. The story is interesting because it's actually three interconnected plots of varying importance. So, for example, the title plot, I guess you could call them, um, is Misaki and Usami, otherwise known as Usagi, because he definitely looks like a rabbit, right? <laughs> um, but there's also two other plots, which is the story of Hiroki and Noaki, which is known as the uh, egoist plot, or the egoist plot, and the terrorist plot, which is Shinobu and Miyagi possibly my favorite character. It's hard to say. You love all the characters in this one. Which is my next point. Because all the characters in the show are super likable. Uh, I mean, people are going to have their favorites and their least favorites, but even your least favorite probably won't annoy you super much. Like, my least favorite character is Shinobu because I find him kind of obnoxious. But again, he's also, I think, the youngest member of the cast, so it's a little bit understandable and he doesn't get better, so... He's my least favorite character, but I still like him, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, even the characters that are most likely to be a Mary Sue, like Misaki, because he's like the main character. You think, oh, he's such a Mary Sue, but... I mean... He has his faults, just like every other character in the show. They're all likable, but they have faults. It's pretty awesome. Um, and I love the lampshading of BL cliches, like... Usami's backstory is so typical that Misaki, like, guesses it, and Usagi's like, how did you know? <laughs> and Misaki's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and there's also, um, Hiroki's little, oh, he'll love me through his body sort of things, like, that's in every BL. Okay, not every single one, but it's it's used pretty often, so I like the little bit of lamb shading there. And there's the love at first sight thing with Noaki, except he's like really obnoxious and kind of stalkery about it, so it's it's funny. <laughs> um, so art animation. This is the part that I think is the most mediocre of the series, even though it has like really good points. Like it's really unique. So as soon as you see it, you're like, oh, it's you know it's Junjo Romantica. Like, you can't really mistake for anything else, except maybe Sekaiji Hatsukoi, which is uh, an, another series by the same author, which is just as good, in my opinion. So, but that's another story. Um, the animation is also really dynamic, especially for a BL anime. Like, uh, there are mo like it's not consistently animated super well, but there are like little moments that are animated super good, and you're just like, damn, that that was animated super good. Like, uh. Maybe I'm maybe I'm too easy. I I always feel like I'm a terrible reviewer because I just kind of like everything, <laughs> except I don't. So probably not. Um, big issue with me and some of my friends though is that if you look, if the characters are shown head on, they look really strange. Like, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. They look sort of squashed, uh, which is a little odd. But to make up for it, they look really good in profile, and they have some of the most animated expressions. Like even in not super deformed form. Which I like. Alright, so the sound. Um, I love the cast, like, ridiculously much. It's kind of creepy, actually, how much I love the cast. <laughs> um, I mean, pretty much everyone in the show is, like, a super veteran. Like, even the only, char the only main character who is not a super veteran is the man who plays Usami, who is, uh, Hikaru Hanada, and he's sort of a semi-newbie, but he's still, like, awesome. <laughs> like, he doesn't- you can't even tell that he's, like, the newbie of the cast, because he's really good. Um, 
Also, one of my favorite voice actors is in it. Uh, his name is Kazuhiko Inoue, but you might have never heard of him, but you've probably heard him. A lot. <laughs> Seriously, look him up on Anime News Network, man. He's been in, like, everything. Including uh, Kakashi and Naruto. And he's... This is just something I saw randomly. He was the Japanese voice of Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid. What? <laughs> He was also in Kyokara Mao, like several other members of the cast. So was, this is sort of like a half reunion for them or something. I don't even know. Um, also, something else that was sort of just random trivia for you guys. If you re remember watching me before, I did sort of a whole series of these, but YouTube didn't like that. So, however, fun trivia the guy who plays Misaki plays Claude Faustus in Black Butler. Yes, you are highness. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> but unless Anime News Network is lying to me, which it's never done before. Yes. Anyway, so that brings us to our final category, enjoyability. Um, obviously, you can tell from this review that it's very very enjoyable. I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, my only complaint is sometimes the characters are frustratingly stupid, but other than that, it's a totally fun blend of drama and just complete silliness. See you next time.